outcast warrior enters a land plagued by an evil fate. He is not like ordinary men, for he carries the Dragon Slayer, a mighty blade of retribution whose fury knows no equal. His enemies will know true fear once he starts to swing. Thing shot. <sighs> Great. I've got no luck. These things always happen to me. Rita, stop your complaining and come help me. <sighs> oh well. Okay, old man. I do owe you. Hey, Job. You help too. After all, you're as strong as two men. Yeah. Uh... The fools! <laughs> what the? <gasps> My God, bandits! <laughs> we can help you fix your wagon, all right. It'll cost you, though. <laughs> hey, now, you're a little cutie, ain't you? You'll fetch a good price in the market. Don't touch me, you bastard! You'll get nothing from me. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, who is she? Whoever she is, there's something wrong with her. <laughs> yeah, but look at her. She's pretty hot. We can take her with us, too, for some fun later. <laughs> yeah, you're right, buddy. Hey, you, over here. <laughs> ah! ah, what the... Damn you! You're gonna die for that! I doubt it, punk. <sighs> Who does this guy think he is? Your big sword won't save you, tough guy! Come on! Let's get him, boy!
Oh, thank you, brave swordsman. You saved our lives. Oh. Listen, big man, if someone is thanking you, the least you can do is listen. And while you're at it, we need food and some money. Some fine wine will do nicely for me. What the heck is that? A bug? How rude, girly. I'm not a bug, I'm an elf. An elf, damn it! Haven't you ever seen an elf? I'm <laughs> the adorable puck. Mm, no. Well, I've never seen one. Who are you? My name is Rita. I'm a traveling performer. This mean-looking guy is Gatsu. He's my buddy and carries my house, you could say. Oh! <laughs> and that's our Casca. Are you mercenaries? If so, you're strange ones. Traveling around with a woman in her state? I am sorry. I meant no offense. Now, don't be mad. I'm in the same position as you, after all. Huh? Finally! We got the wagon mended. We're off. Come on! Okay, Pops! Um, uh, I... I mean, we... We're going to give a performance in the next town. Why don't you come and watch? There's just one road to town and you can't miss it. Hey, what's keeping you, girl? C coming! And, and, and I mean, um... Thanks for saving us. See ya! Okay! Yeah! A performer, eh? I kinda like her. Hey, Casca. Where are you going? Oh... She probably wants to see that show. The town's right over there. Well, why don't you take her? Forget it, Puck. I don't have time to waste on something like that. But even you need to take a break once in a while. All work and no play will make you a grump. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I want to go, I want to go. We both want to go. Please, please, please. Oh, please, come on, let us go. Let's live a little. Come on, Gatsu. Please. <laughs> sure, whatever. We need to get food anyway. I'm starving. Yeah! Hear that, Casca? Yippee! He said we're going! <laughs> hmm. I only got a glance, but I'm sure that guy in the wagon. There she is! Hey, look, guys! Ready, Yoruko? Jump! He... He's possessed by the man... 
Gregora! Damn monster! The Mandra what? Get the hell out of our town! Ah! How the hell with you? We're not gonna let a Mandragora zombie go free! Oh my god! What is that thing? No! John, no! Disgusting. I'm glad it's dead. You murderers! You'll pay! Uh, shut up, stupid girl! Damn you! <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong! You didn't have to kill him! I don't feel any mercy for monsters. here for an inspection. Do not touch the body. These huge sword wounds. Was it you? Did you do this? Yeah. I'm Balzac, ruler of this town. Sir, I must thank you. Unfortunately, once people with this disease run amok, they rampage until they die. Disease? It started some years ago in a nearby town. No one has found a cure for it yet. That woman... Is she also possessed by the Mandragora? No. She's got nothing to do with that thing. Perhaps. Still, I perceive that her mind is not sound. Listen, I believe our doctors might be able to help her. What do you mean? We are researching cures for the Mandragora possession. Mandragora? The symptoms appear the same. So perhaps we can help her. Also, we must repay you for your aid. Come to my castle and bring the girl with you. Uh. Fine. Show us the way. Excellent. Then it's decided. You shall be guest. 
guests in my castle. Take care of the other one. Understood, my lord. Sir, shall I proceed with the plan? I'll take good care of her. If something happens, come get me. She be. What is it? Nothing. Forget it. This place is. A Mandragoran holding cell. There's always the danger that they may go berserk like that man today, so we keep them quarantined here for our needs. Currently, we are doing research into a cure for this horrible disease. But in order to prevent the people from becoming too panicked, we're keeping this place secret from the villagers. Tell me, do you know anything about... Mandragora possession? Nothing. A few years ago, a strange disease began to spread in a village under my rule. Suddenly, one day the entire village was possessed by a root-like creature. The possessed became crazed. No one knew what caused it. Rumor has it that these bizarre, never-seen-before plants began to pop up here and there throughout my lands. They moved on their own each night taking possession of unsuspecting people. Because of their human-like shape, and because of their strange effect on their host, people called it Mandragora, and were terrified of it. The plants attach and inject a poison that drives people mad, but yet it cures all illness in the host body. Legend has it that the plant has the ability to also cure the infected, and bestow the benefits of youth and vigor. The legend is true. Wait, I have heard of it. They say that when it's pulled from the ground, it screams in pain. And... I hear 
hears that scream. That's right. They die instantly. But because of its benefit, there is no end to those willing to risk death to get it. However, when you pull it from the earth, it dies immediately. To refine serum, you need a mandragora heart. Heart. When a mandragora plant grows into a great tree, it gains a heart. Even when cut out, it does not die, but instead starts to regenerate. The drug made from such a heart would allow us to cure this cursed mandragora possession. Before I began searching for a cure, I tried attacking a village of Mandragorans. I wished to prevent further spread of the disease, you see. But the monsters fought back ferociously. I've never seen such carnage. I survived and brought back some of the heart. But just a piece of a Mandragora heart Sadly, it wasn't enough. To cure so many people, we need to find a larger heart. Get to the point. What for me? That village is on the edge of my land. It still stands, and the heart is there. I see. I've sent my soldiers to the village countless times since then to get the heart of the great tree, but not a single one has returned alive. But we desperately need it for our research. I've seen your abilities, Gatsu. I have a job for you. A job? A proposition. Infiltrate the Mandragora village and take the heart of the Great Tree. As compensation, we will heal your female companion. How does that sound? Foolish. The drug we make from the heart of the Great Tree should be able to heal her illness. Let's help each other, friend. I don't trust you, Balzac. I sense that you're not coming clean with me on this. But I'll do it for my Casca. Excellent. We have an agreement. Casca, stop! You shouldn't be wandering all over. Huh? Let go of me! I didn't do anything! Shut up! You were a fool to come to this town with that monster. Now you will pay! Who is that? Oh no! Casca? Help! Hmm? What? What's going on here? <laughs> There is a nun in the town, who eats and sleeps with the Mandragorans. She fancies herself their protector. She and I have very different positions. And so far, she has turned down my requests for help. But perhaps she will listen to you. Sorry. I don't get along too well with holy people. Pardon me for interrupting, my lord, but since the item we discussed is near completion, we really don't need his help. The results of our research so far should be enough to succeed. I'm sick of your opinions and time-wasting. I won't wait any longer. But... but, my lord... What's he talking about? <laughs> Sir, the enemy has breached the castle! What the hell? Impossible! How could that be? We seem to have underestimated their strength. Pardon me, I must go attend this emergency. Here he is! 
is this one! <laughs> what? they get this far forgive me my lord they will pay for this insult with their lives naturally now hurry and squash them yes sir Friend? Huh? Hey, isn't this Rita's dog? What, little guy? What's he saying, Puck? He says he knows where Casca is. Good. Where? He wants us to follow him. Good. Let's go.
talking about? You're gonna get it! <laughs> Better tell us or there's gonna be trouble! Come on! Come on! Spit it out, tough guy! I don't know who you are, but now that you've seen this much, we can't let you leave alive. Bring it on. Wait! He is not our enemy. Huh? Yes, sir. I am sorry. I was just told about you a moment ago. Rita! <laughs> you're doing huh you blew it you think you're so tough with that big hunk of metal hanging on your back but you can't even protect one woman some hero do not be mad at her gatsu she was almost killed by Volzak's underlings what your companion is inside I am Dunteth. Come inside for now. We'll talk later. <laughs> These ruins have been here for ages. Whenever war broke out, the townspeople always escaped here. Now it's become the hideaway for us, the Resistance. Did you see a strange room in Balzac's castle? Where they keep the Mandragorans? A room like a jail. Yes. He said they're researching a cure for Mandragorans. That's a damn lie! He... Balzac. He wants to use the Mandragorans as his secret weapon. Hmm. He says he's forcing them out of the towns and villages because they're dangerous and conducting human experiments in the name of research. But anyone who discovers the truth does not live long, like this young woman almost found out. Hmm. Well, why did you try to break into the castle? We were trying to free our captured comrades. We just happened to see your companion and took her along, thinking she was a victim of his human experiments. To keep the Mandragorans a secret, Balzac forbids the townspeople from leaving this town. The same applies to people who come here. Once you enter the town, you can never leave. At least, alive. That's horrible. We have lived on this land since ancient times. This town, being so close to the border, has been occupied by many nations and armies as a strategic base. Each time a new ruler takes over, it is we who suffer. Balzac, was he like that too? Not at first. His enemies feared him like a monster, and he did not oppress us, his subjects. We thought he was an enlightened and kind ruler. Now, he's different. He's changed ever since the disease appeared. He's turned into a tyrant. Where's Casca? She's in a room below. I will show you the way, friend. Uh -oh. 